My Hero Academia. This is My Hero Academia, chapter 326. Uh, hold on, I'm pulling it up now. Uh, 326, uh, who are you really? Um, last we left off, uh, Deku was just being reaccepted into society, society thanks to his classmates in class 1A. Uh, and now, uh, the, last we le- the last panel we left off on, All Might was looking sad and just walking away. So we don't know what the hell his whole deal is. Uh, and we find out pretty much immediately uh, what he's up to now. Uh, All Might apparently rode off on best, in Best Genius car to uh, f- check in on those hero-hating groups that refuse to join the, the shelter. Because, uh, you know, that's all he can do now, I guess. Uh, he's just trying to find ways to be useful. Yeah. Drive around and communicate. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, one one hell of a communicator now. Yeah, he's like uh, Wade now from Kim Possible, I guess. That's all he can Damn. do is communicate. Damn. Uh, oh, is that too harsh on All Might? <laughs> I mean, I guess everybody else could tell, could say it. Damn. Oh, whatever. I think that's a pretty low bar. Uh, Wade was But cool. you know, he's like, he, 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 right, right. Oh, who didn't like uh, Wade? Wade was cool. Yeah, he was, he was all right. He was cool. He was the tech guy. But anyway, he pulls up where uh, the battle uh, ensued with Class 1A and Deku. Uh, he finds Deku's broken jaw thing uh, on the ground, looking down at it, say it. Uh, and he picks it up. He looks over at the statue where uh, where somebody me- very meanly hung an I am not here sign uh, around uh, the All Might statue's neck. Uh And he remarks that, you know, he's just, like, angrily talking to himself. He's like, you couldn't do anything for your disciple when he was hurting. You cannot, you, and uh, at this point, you're only getting in the way, all might. And guess who shows up in that moment to, uh, to regale him about his, the blasphemy of, against a great hero? It's Hero Killer Stay. So this is where he popped up. (laughs) Yeah. It's pretty cool. Yeah, this, this is. Yeah, so he's like, "Take it back, you witless fool!" Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, he's he. Uh, Stain asks him to explain himself, and uh, he's like, "I'm All Might. This is how I look like now." And he's like, "Wrong. You're not All Might." And All Might's like, "Oh yeah. Well, let me show you." He turns into his buff form for a minute, and it quickly deflates. Uh, so he's just like, "There. You gonna kill me or what?" And he says, no, you're not All Might. You know, it's a very dialogue-heavy chapter. Uh, you know, so he's basically like, uh, he, he asked De- uh, All Might, is like, who are you? Do you dare to call- falsely claim the mantle of a hero? Who are you really? And uh, All Might talks about, you know, how he wanted to make a better place back in the day. He was powerless, but, you know, he always tried to make it better. But, and he did that for a while, but now his time is over. Uh, he doesn't really have anything to do, and uh, not only that, he left his world in ruins. Basically, uh, he's pretty bummed out about that. And on top of that, he couldn't really help his disciple out at all. And um, that's when Stain just lunges at him and like grabs him, and I guess like hides him behind this icicle thing that the like ice cube, giant ice cube thing that they were hiding behind. As one soul woman approaches the All Might statue. And I don't know what she uses. Like, I know this is her quirk. It looks like snow, like a little snowman thing where she boosts herself up somehow. It's interesting. I didn't notice this on my Looks like it's attached to her feet. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It's like, can she make, like, snow or something? I don't know what that is. I don't think it really matters. She's a No, it doesn't matter. I was just, yeah. I was just I don't know, man. She might come back. Oh, I mean. Remember the anthropomorphic chick? I mean, this is a really deep pull because, like, uh, Stain starts to explain that every day she purges blasphemy from erected by hero detractors. She likely travels from a, yeah, she likely travels from a nearby shelter and causes no small inconvenience to those in charge. And almost like, why is she doing this? Why would she risk her life? And it turns out that this woman was the last person All Might saved. And man, I remember this panel actually. <laughs> This is in like volume eleven of My Hero Academia when my when uh, All Might was fighting against All for One, uh, yeah, and 
yeah, this woman was just underneath all the rubble, and All Might was just about to blast her because he's petty, and All Might did the thing where he like blast, like protected her with his fist. It was a pretty yeah. cool moment. And um, Stain gives him a pretty big pep talk, basically. Uh, he's like, you may, the man we all knew was All Might could not live his life any other way than to help people, no matter whether he was powerless or not. And uh, the end, this is the end result, you say, but, you know, things are looking up now. The, the flickering ember he left behind is nurtured by the select few who succumb neither to chilling rain nor howling wind. Uh, so, yeah, it's more about like, yeah, I mean, you didn't save the world like you thought you would, but you've encouraged others to kind of take up your mantle and kind of come together mm. for a greater cause. Um, so he basically says a, ho- a hero can only claim that title as long as his soul burns fiercely in service of others. However, say a God has fallen prostrate to ca- uh, upon the earth and his divine soul has turned feeble and mortal. So yeah, he's, uh, and all might's like, wait, this whole time you've been, you've known that it was me the whole time and you're acting like dumb. He's like, no, I don't presume to know you, but if you are a true hero, make use of this information from my time in Tartarus. And he like yeah. he does a cool like assassin knife thing to the ground with a piece of paper on it. And then he tells All Might to come for the life of Stain, the man who murdered forty heroes, all for the sake of fixing this society. And that's He did kill a bunch of heroes. He ain't killing Genium though, but No. It was he was close. He was pretty close to having 41. He did paralyze Ingenium, though. Oh, nice. So, Well, not for Ingenium. Not for Ingenium. Not great time for him. But it was pretty nice for for Stain. Yeah. He still took him out of commission. Yeah. Well, that's where the chapter ends. Uh, I thought this chapter was pretty outstanding. Uh, I actually really enjoyed it. Um, Pretty outstanding. Yeah. Yeah, I I really dug it. Um, Yeah, I agree. This is a pretty good chapter. I liked it. Oh, you not so you're not gonna say outstanding, Brian. Oh or do you I like feel exactly the same? <laughs> um I like Do you think I you like, like the Northern Christian? Probably. I liked it a lot. It's not my hmm. RGC, I will say that, but it was like kind of a oh. swift it was a very swift battle between two series. Um but man, I yeah, no, I thought this um this was a really cool moment for all might i guess i i think like um this is just to re like i think like all, going forward all might's going to be kind of more of a yoda type character you know he's going to be like kind of a spiritual guide in the sense that you can be with one for all as opposed to you know this is how you fight with one for all he's going to be like this is right you know the path i the think type shit I think this chapter is super interesting because it, I think it's starting to kind of confirm what I thought was was happening between All Might and Deku. And I feel like what they've done is that they kind of switched places. You yeah. know, like uh, Deku spent his whole life trying to figure out how to be a hero without a quirk. And now he has to figure out how to be a hero with a quirk. And now All Might spent his whole time being the greatest hero of all time learning how to be a hero with a quirk and now he has to figure out what it means to be a hero without one so it's like a good like flip side thing and um it's interesting i really love that it's stain that comes to this to 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 all might to talk to him about this and in the end he even tells him to come after his ass which is like what he would expect from all might to do um well he did say Early on, cool. he he, sa- he did say early on he would only allow All Might to kill him. So, um, yeah. I wonder if this is if they're gonna have an All Might arc. I doubt it. Uh, I think like he's not gonna be like pushed to the side, but I think this is just kind of to bolster the resolve of All Might. And I'm glad this was like kind of a little standalone chapter. I think the woman that he saved from a long time ago was a nice touch, uh, because All Might's yeah. kind of wondering. What was all all for? Like, yeah, he was the greatest hero, but it all ended up like this anyway. You know, like, it didn't matter what he did. The world still went to shit. But, you know, Stain was like, well, you did not not affect the world. There's this one woman here who, like, is representative of the millions you've actually saved. Yeah, so, representative. And, and to be fair, it's really been kind of 
one guy that really ruined everything <laughs> for being honest you know yeah he planted all the seeds yeah so I, it's also you know, like there's criminals around but not like on some crackhead shit like yeah, awful yeah. one and poison the mind of sugar rocky yeah, and I think it's a more of a confirmation of the overall thing is that it's not supposed to be one guy anyway. Uh, it's supposed to be like on everyone. It's supposed to be like a big uh, contributing society, you know. Mm. So, you know, All Might was like a good thing for a time, but his thing is not sustainable is to always rely on this one person who is just always going to be there. Even throughout like the one for all cycle. And I think that's the significance of the one for all ending with Deku, probably. You know, it's, it's supposed see. to be a big revolutionary change in how things are done now. This is the first time that a user is, um, oh, finally my iPad has turned on. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. Um, I lost my train of thought. You said this is the first time. Uh, a user of one for all was something. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That he's had access to everybody else's quirk, right? So I guess that is yeah. symbolic for you know everyone working together to achieve this goal. I like it. I did have a random ass thought though. If everyone's kind of finished with their thoughts on the chapter, yeah, I'm good. Um, could Eerie bring back All Might's powers for a little while? Not forever, but maybe for know. a little bit. In theory, yeah, because she like reverses your state of being. So yeah, but it's it's not just his his health. Well, actually, it it, it was his health before that held him back from from maintaining the All Might form. But it's also the spirit that's dwindling in him as well. So yeah, no, I think like one for all is too different because Monoma can't copy it. I think so. No, there's like you know, one for all is like a right. special power. You beyond... couldn't copy that shit. He was. Yeah, I hey. think. I think one for all and all for one are two abilities that kind of transcend time. Yeah, but I think Airy could, in theory, just like repair All Might's stomach, so he wouldn't have to have dysentery for the rest of his life. Right, right, because he could even when it was dwindling, he could still be in All Might form. What was holding him back was his health. Yeah. Yeah, his ruptured stomach where he... I don't think he even has one, like he mentioned, is just... Yeah, this is he the problem have with the I, uh, I think I read, like, in the first volume... It, it's just torso, and then... Well, he has a torso, but it's, like... I don't know what, I don't know how that would work. Uh, but all my... Uh, one for, All for one fucked his stomach up so badly that, like, he can't... He can't live... <laughs> He can't do, he can't like use his powers more than three hours a day at the start of the series, and then it gradually got less and less as Deku took the more and more power. The transfer of one for all is uh, kind of like slow and like gradual. Yeah. Okay, I understand the, completely now. This is the problem with a character like Aerie, though. <laughs> like yeah. you don't introduce you don't a power play. that fucking strong and. Well, and bring up these kind of things because theoretically <laughs> she could bring back Izawa's fucking leg and eye. Sure. She could bring back All Might to to full form. Yeah, but he, right, she, she would bring back All Might without a quirk. You know, like it. Would yeah, have... but still, that's and at also least he's pretty not gangster. dying anymore. And here's the I, nerf. I'm sure he would prefer not to die soon. Yeah, well, here's the nerf factor: is she could is kill you. you. You know, like. I don't think they're going to, like, make her so she could just use her power like that. You think she could bring somebody back to life? No. I agree, Chris. But the problem is there's no precedent for that to not be the case. And that's <laughs> not my fault. It's not Brian's fault. It's not your fault. Anybody else reading it that comes to those conclusions, that's the creator's fault for introducing a weirdo fucking character for its, what, second major arc or whatever? Well, I would think this is obviously going to be significant to Ares' power, but I think, like, there, there's, like, uh, this is a big problem. Yeah, no, that's precedent for that. She hasn't, like, on-screen killed anybody, but... Well, we, we know what she, what serve is, what, um, but she know, what, know she what her power serves, can do. like, the purpose she serves in the story. Yeah. It's just... It's, it's just such a powerful ability that it's... Sure. 
it's hard to believe that they won't use it for. Oh yeah, things. no, they're definitely like, going to use it, but it's probably going to be always nerfed to a degree because she is a little girl. She can't control it, and who knows? Who knows how they're going to use it? I I don't think they're going to really use it till the very end. I don't think that like it's going to be a yeah. factor until like the close to the end of the series. She's the Quirk Singularity poster child. Yes. <laughs> I think that's the her whole thing, is that her power is just another evolution of how strong Quirks can be. She's the next, next generation, you know? Um, But yeah, I, I really like this chapter. I thought it was a good character building thing for All Might. Uh, I appreciate it. Uh, I enjoyed it. Like, uh, I, you know me, uh, like if this felt like very One Piece as kind of sort of with that one woman coming in and be like, huh? <laughs> yeah. Horikoshi and Oda are really good at not forgetting about like yeah. small details like that. Yeah. 